Another quarter, another disappointing earnings report from Nintendo. It shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone that the Wii U is selling poorly, but the sales numbers this time around are so low that some are wondering if the Wii U can ever bounce back. First things first, Nintendo saw its sales drop 1.9% over the previous year with a $50 million operating loss on net sales of $832 million for the quarter. But how many Wii U's do you think they sold from January to March? A million? Two million maybe? Nope. 160,000 in three months. A brand new console with no current next-gen competition, 160,000 units sold worldwide. That's 51.3% less than it sold last quarter and nearly 50,000 less than the seven-year-old Wii sold in the same time period. Nintendo blamed the abysmal sales on software development delays, saying, quote, we plan to concentrate on proactively releasing key Nintendo titles from the second half of this year through next year in order to regain momentum for the platform. Nintendo. I love you, I always have, and I think it's great that you finally released Pikmin 3. But I don't think, and pardon me for editorializing a bit here, I don't think an HD version of Donkey Kong Country Returns, a new Mario Kart, a new Smash Brothers, the HD remake of Wind Waker, or Super Mario 3D World, which is essentially an HD version of Super Mario 3D Land, are going to change your fortunes in the future. You know why the 360 and PS3 sell really well? Because third parties can port their games over, and the boat filled with 360 and PS3 ports is sailing away as soon as the Xbox One and PS4 arrive. You have amazing exclusive characters, but rehashing the same gameplay styles in prettier HD packaging will only get you so far. We want huge jumps like Super Mario World to Mario 64 to Mario Galaxy. Not another Donkey Kong Country, only this time with ice, or another Mario Kart, but this time with hovercrafts. Innovate, please. Okay, I'm done. Amidst the bad news, there was a patch of good for Nintendo. The 3DS sold 1.4 million units last quarter, and software sales for the system were up 49%, thanks to addictive games like Animal Crossing. So that's something, right? What do you think Nintendo has to do to make the Wii U enticing to gamers? Let me know down below. Plus, I don't know if you guys noticed, but we're getting close to 100,000 subscribers, and we here at TechFeed are passing the savings on to you with a spectacular giveaway. The details are in the show notes down there. And as always, for more TechFeed, please subscribe to the channel. For TFN, I'm Scott Brownlee saying, if Nintendo does a gritty reboot of Donkey Kong Jr. Math, I'm all in for Clue Clue Land. Or I'd take a remake of Mock Rider at this point. Just something.